morning, class. Uh, my name is Franz. This is Nick, and that's Gavin. We're going to be talking to you guys about the benefits of going to a community college and how it reduces stress. Uh, so imagine four years into college, you inherit a large sum of money from your great aunt. The amount she left you was $80,000. You smile briefly and realize, even with this inheritance, you're still an extra $40,000 in school debt. You're homesick. And you're not connected to your fellow student as you wish you, you would have been. So that smile that France was talking about, that's gone. That <laughs> smile no longer exists. And you're still very, very stressed. So today, we'd like to tell you about the benefits of going to community college, um, how it is, has a uh, direct correlation to stress relief, you know, getting all that, getting that edge off of uh, going straight to a four year. And uh, to begin, we're gonna talk about the, uh, to the benefits of getting involved. Second, the upside of staying home. And lastly, how much money can I potentially save by going to a community college? Knowing the answers to these questions will make you so thankful you decided to give us a moment of your time. Uh, please take a moment to listen to what Nick has to say. All right, so, well, before we get started, before I get straight into my bullets, how many of you guys have a, a plan for after, after community college? You know, whether it be work, going into a four year, not everybody, some people are, are, are playing after graduation to just grab a spot on the sidewalk all of the day. <laughs> all right, well, since most of you raised your hand, I can say this is gonna be at least helpful for basically everybody in here. So, let's get started. Allows, getting involved allows students to discover their passions and strengths. Why this is so good and why there's so many um, clubs, I wanna say there's business club, art club, writers club, um, Student government and animal awareness club. There's so many. So what this allows is for you to get, you know, dip into everything and get an idea of what you actually like, what you actually feel passionate towards. So what it's going to change your focus when you go to school. It's going to change your focus from just going in to grab some credits to actually aligning your schoolwork with what you want to be after school, what you want to have as a career. So that's definitely huge. Um, it allows students to get connected into the, with their school. So basically, when you start to get involved, you're going to notice that you're going to become very comfortable with the faculty, the teachers. And you're also going to realize that these teachers that are here to teach us have a bunch of knowledge in what well, you find, you know, what you're passionate about in the career paths that you want. So these people are like wells of knowledge. You do not want to give up the, the opportunity that you have here to meet these people, get their personal email, and people that can help you throughout your entire life. All right, so it also helps build community. So what this is, I'm sure you all are decent at making friends, you know, no one here is, you know, no friends, just a loner, I would assume. So what getting involved in community college allows you to do is, it helps you build a network. Your friends, once you find what you were passionate about, it helps you build what, a network around people that are going to be in your career field. So. Let's say down, somewhere down the line, you need a professional opinion from a manager, a t uh, executive level manager, and, and you t and ha happen to be in with someone who you know, uh, but can one? So you could just easily get a professional opinion from someone. You don't have to wait online. You don't have to call their firm or anything. You just got that personal email, personal personal phone number, and you just ask them right there. It's nice and easy. Or, this is, this is one I just put on there. Being constantly exposed to information keeps the mind sharp. Who else here, after like a week of a test, basically anything on that test is just gone. Like, you don't, like it's just, you know, regurgitated, you're done. Mm -hmm. um, what this allows, being constantly exposed to information, is what it allows you to do is turn over what you, what you did on those exams to real life situations. You know, a speaker comes in and talks to you about why marketing is so important, how you will actually be using the marketing instead of just bubbling in answers on a Scantron. So it definitely, definitely keeps you, keeps you, keeps you sharp. And lastly, in my opinion, the biggest one is it's a resume builder. It's gonna look absolutely great on your resume, whether you're transferring straight into a job or into another four year school, that you actually have gone out of your way to put a little extra on your plate just to learn about what's going on in your field. Also, just, you know, like, you're gonna have on your resume, um, you went to business club, let's say. It's the one I'm involved in. 
really what that basically means is you got free food and listen to someone speak. So like, you know, that's just great benefits. You don't want to forego any of the benefits of getting at least involved at a community college and how it can help you further your life in whether it be school or right into a job. So I'm going to kick it off to Gavin and he's going to get to his points. So advantages of staying home. Um, one thing is being with your friends and family every day. Does anyone have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, maybe a brother and sister away at college? Totally, right? I personally have a girlfriend away at school, and all she does is talk about how she wants to be home, be with me, be with your friends and family, stuff like that. She's homesick all the time. So you go, if you stay at community college, you don't have to go through that. Another thing is you don't become distant, uh, distant from family and friends or miss out on family gatherings. Does anyone have like, um, uh, did anyone like lose friends because they just went away to college or something like that, like you don't even talk to them anymore? Yeah, I have a bunch of friends that just did that. It's, when you go to community college, you, don't, you still stick with your friends, stuff like that. Um, you can get a job that has to do with your interests and what you're going to school for. Another thing is you can get a part-time job and make money while also going to school. I know kids that go away to school, a lot of them say that they're gonna get a job they don't really get a job, they're just already drinking <laughs> <and fat. laughs> um, They don't actually go to get a job. They use mom and dad's money, you yeah. um, know? Another thing is, an adult with kids can go, uh, can go to community school and also manage their family at the same time. You see a lot of parents in, in classes, either mom or dad, and uh, a lot of them are like night classes or morning classes. If you go to night classes, you have the other parent at home, you can watch kids. You, uh, if you go to morning, I mean, maybe if your kid goes to school or something, you go to morning classes, something like that. But um, yeah, it's, it's staying home is just it's a lot better than going away personally, I feel like. If I feel like if I went away, away to school, I'd be homesick for like the first two weeks. I, I wouldn't do that stuff. But uh, those are some of the benefits of staying home. You know? And I'll let Frank take it from there. Yep. All right, so some of you are still wondering what else is in it for me. Um, well, as I mentioned before, uh, how about money? Um, I know it, the, the old saying goes, you know, money can't buy happiness, but it can give you a great head start in life. Now, remember before when I mentioned that $80,000 inheritance from your great aunt? Well, let's try and put that into perspective. Um, let's say we have two twins, uh, Emma and Maya. Emma went to a four-year college straight out of high school, whereas Maya went to a community college for her first two years and completed her last two years in a four-year college, the same four-year college that Emma went to. Can anyone, guess, <laughs> can anyone guess and tell me who they think this twin is? Who do you think it is? Um, the one that went straight. Four years school. Okay, so you, so you think it's Emma. And <laughs> no. why do you think it's Emma? Because she's in a lot of debt. She's in a lot of debt, correct. She just opened her student loan bill and she realized that she owes $120,000 in student loan debt because she went straight to that four year college. Now, granted, she has that $80,000 inheritance from her great aunt, but she still owes $40,000 more to school. Now, this is Maya. Maya is so happy she got this inheritance because she went to the community college first and that only cost her $4,000 per year for the first two years. And she went to the same college that Emma went to, so it was $30,000 per year for those last two years, bringing her school loan debt at $68,000. So when she inherited that $80,000, she had an extra $12,000. $12,000, that's a, that's a lot of money. You can use it to start up, you know, maybe get a car, down payment for a house, an apartment. Maybe, maybe you, you've always wanted to go on some fancy vacation. Use it for that. So um, now regardless of whether or not you inherit, you know, $80,000, um, it still pays off to go into community college. Because we're literally talking numbers the difference between what could be $68,000 in student loan debt or $120,000 in student loan debt. That's a difference of $52,000 right there. Uh, 
Um, now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my own college experience because I'm, I'm talking about this um, from experience. Uh, straight out of high school, I went to St. John's University. And uh, does anyone know how much St. John's University is tuition? About 46. 46,000, anyone know? I know my brother when it was a little bit lower 10 years ago, it was about 42. Okay, 46, 42,000 dollars, that's annual. I went for one semester. <laughs> one semester there. Now, when I went um, with, this is including financial aid, it was still $15,000. Needless to say, and that's not including living on campus. That's in-state um, commuter uh, tuition prices. So I'm paying $15,000. With that $15,000, I could have came here, I could have finished my two years, and I would have had an extra $7,000 to maybe put into you know another school or towards a, a nice used car or something like that. Um, bottom line is um, you would have saved a lot of money. So people go, you know, they get they get all excited for these, you know, 25% off at uh, their favorite clothing store, or you wait all year round for Black Friday deals. Meanwhile, going to a community college is the ultimate discount. The ultimate discount. You're talking about saving, you know, between, you know, anywhere, you can save maybe 10% of your money up to 43% on college tuition. Today, we've demonstrated how to reduce stress, improve your financial situation, and enhance your social networking skills. We've also talked about, talked about the benefits of getting involved, staying home, and the financial benefit aspect. And these are all great stress relievers. Now, I remember how miserable you were earlier, and I imagine you started out at community college. You wouldn't be homesick. You'd be more con connected to people instead of being an additional 40000 in debt. You would actually have a surplus of 12000 from your inheritance. Don't be like Emma and be like mine. 